What's up guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 on iOS 7.1.2 with Geek Snow in 2022. So let's get started. So many of you may ask, why would we use Geek Snow over Pangu? Well, as it turns out, Pangu will not actually jailbreak your phone unless it is activated. And since this iPhone used to be iCloud locked, it is not activated, so we have to use Geek Snow. And that has actually become more difficult to do in the last two to three years than it used to be. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So about two and a half to three years ago, Geek Snow used to work perfectly fine on Windows 10 and I was able to jailbreak my iPhone every single time with no problems. Now I have tried everything, I have done tons of research and I have found nothing as to why anything related to the Limera 1 exploit does not work on Windows 10. So unfortunately for this video, you absolutely have to run Windows 7. Not Windows XP, not Windows 10, but Windows 7. So if you want to know how to install Windows 7 and make a bootable thumb drive click my video here I just released that that actually took a bit of time and research but I was able to find some legit Windows 7 ISOs for you guys and if you need to know how to install Windows I will also have a video in the corner of your screen or in the description so once you have Windows 7 on your PC let's go ahead and download the necessary files to run Geek Snow okay so the first thing you need to do is go to the first link in the description at the iPhone wiki and it will pull you to this iTunes page and this computer is a 32-bit version so I'm going to scroll down until I find iTunes 11.1.5.5 for Windows 32-bit okay so that was this is the 32-bit section right here okay and here it is. Now I already have this version of iTunes installed. If you have a newer version of iTunes already installed, you can hit my video here or in the description on how to downgrade iTunes versions, but you will need iTunes 11.1.5.5. I believe all the way down to 10.2 can work, but I know for a fact that 11.1.5.5 is the perfect version to run. Next, go to the next link in the description, which will take you to my website and it will take you to this downloads page. So the first thing you need to download is Geek Snow itself. And this may not be necessary depending on what version of Java you have installed, but I would go ahead and scroll down to where it says iPhone 4 bypass SSH tools. A lot of these are very similar files to what are used in the Geek Snow, but this has the correct version of Java that you will need to run Geek Snow, so go ahead and download this as well. Okay, so that's all the downloads we are going to need to make. So let's close out Google Chrome and head to your file explorer, find the downloads, and we're just going to open up Geek Snow and extract all the files. Okay, so we have it here and I'm just going to move that to my desktop. Again, you may not need this Java version. You may already have it installed, but some older PCs will not have this particular version of Java installed, so you do need to install it. So you just go to this Java folder here and run this. I have already ran it on my computer, but it is absolutely necessary for everything to run. Okay, so once you have that installed, and iTunes has been installed, we can go ahead and open up Geek Snow. It's okay if you get this Microsoft.NET Framework error, don't worry about it, just hit continue. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and plug in our iPhone. Make sure that your computer detects it, and it does. Now we need to put your iPhone into DFU mode. So to do that, we hold the home and power button for 10 seconds, then continue holding the home button until it connects to your computer. Okay, and as you can see, we heard the little doo-doo and it connected. Now we just hit 
uh, jailbreak. Okay, so if you get this problem where it says put your iPhone in DFU mode, just disconnect it and reconnect it. You may even have to open up iTunes. Okay, and as you can see, now it is detecting your device. It is exploiting the boot ROM and it is going to start jailbreaking. Okay, so the process failed for me. If your iPhone boots up like this, then your jailbreak has failed. This should not happen, at least not immediately. So basically, we're just going to run the whole thing again, close out Geek Snow. Even though it will say it's doing all that, it is none of that is actually happening. It has to be in a DFU like state. So let's go ahead and put it back into DFU mode. Okay, so we're still in DFU mode. Okay, so, so far the phone has not booted up. This is exactly what we want. It should say random RAM disk load started and you should see a black screen on your phone. I'm not sure why I had to open iTunes every time for it to detect it in DFU mode, but sometimes it's just like that. Okay, so as you can see, we see the um, update screen on the iPhone. That is exactly what it should be doing. Now the actual jailbreak process has started. Okay, so now my phone is in recovery mode. Now we just have to put it back into DFU mode. Okay, so the phone's in DFU mode. For whatever reason, I'm actually not sure why, but I'm having to open up iTunes every time for it to detect it. Okay, now it says booting with open snow. That is exactly what we want to see. Okay, so we get this white screen here. We should see a verbose boot here. Okay, now this is the time that we actually should be booted up. Okay, so after the iPhone fully booted up, it wound up shutting down by itself after a few minutes and going into this recovery state, and it tells you to put your iPhone into DFU mode once again. Okay, so we are in DFU mode. Now it's booting with open snow for the last time. And as you can see, your iPhone 4 on iOS 7.1.2 is fully jailbroken. While Cydia prepares the file system, just a quick reminder that this jailbreak is a semi-untethered jailbreak, not a fully untethered jailbreak, meaning that the phone will be able to boot up without this app, but in order for the jailbreak to work, you have to boot it using Geek Snow, which I will show you how to do in just a second once it finishes preparing the file system. Okay, so Cydia has finished preparing the file system, and as you can see, we are fully booted into Cydia. And now we just gotta connect to the network. <laughs> and here we are. Your iPhone 4 is fully jailbroken on iOS 7.1.2. So first off, before I show you how to tether boot this iPhone, I'll be fully honest with you guys. The first time I let Cydia prepare the file system, it actually caused another problem and I had to redo the entire jailbreak. So this uh, part of the video was actually filmed a little bit later. But anyways, I went through the exact process that I did earlier. I'm not quite sure why Cydia crashed, but basically after it finished preparing the file system, Cydia was just not there at all. And the 
a few of the apps down here were still missing even after multiple tries of tether booting it but anyways let's go ahead and power our phone off and I'm going to boot it normally just so I can show you that Cydia and a few of the other apps will not be there until you tether boot it and then I'm going to show you how to boot it with Geek Snow. Okay so I just booted up the iPhone normally and as we can see if I go into Cydia here it will not load. I'm not sure what it was saying about the phone app and the mail app not working because as far as I can tell they are fully working. That's just a warning that Geek Snow gave I guess. Well okay see the mail app just crashes immediately as well. So let's go ahead and put our iPhone into DFU mode because we have to do that in order to tether boot it. Okay, so our iPhone is in DFU mode here. As you can see, it just opened up iTunes to say we have an iPhone in recovery mode. Now, since my iPhone is a CDMA model, as you can see, it has no uh, SIM card here. Um, so I'm just going to hit iPhone 4 CDMA, and it says put your iPhone in DFU mode to continue. Okay, it detected it. Now it is booting with open snow. Okay, and the iPhone has been booted with Geek Snow, and Cydia is now fully functional. As you can see, Cydia is fully booted up and ready to go. Congratulations, you have now jailbroken your iPhone 4 on iOS 7.1.2. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified as soon as any new videos come out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Again, all download links will be down in the description, so make sure to check those out as well. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.